finally, in terms of just orientation to the, the interface, um, I can go to the report menu. This showed me the last report that I looked at, but let me go to view available reports where I can see lots of reporting about burn down, about velocity comparison between sprints. Um, I can get a sprint report, which is the one I'll show in a moment. I can get an epic report to see uh, progress towards completing an epic over time. Um, so there, there's lots of neat reporting features. We may have to evolve in our practices to do things in a way that allow us to leverage some of these reports. So you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge over time. Um, but one port report that we can immediately use is the sprint report. This is a fake sprint that, um, remember, we're in our testing instance here. And um, it could show or does show a burn down chart. It shows me that this is a closed sprint and that gives me the, the time and dates of that sprint. Um, I actually did not, in this fake sprint that I created here, or demo sprint, um, I didn't finish any issues. Um, but it would tell me what work um, was completed, what was not completed, and it would also tell me about scope change. Um, it shows issues that were removed from the sprint after the sprint was defined, um, and it would show me issues that were added to the sprint after the team defined um, its body of work during sprint planning and began the sprint. Uh, 